Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is how we're going to we're going to show you how to install the brand new intensifier for BGR mods. And let's just do a walkthrough here. Okay, first obviously you're going to have to take off the back. You have to unscrew all the screws. Now there's also another screw underneath here, so we're going to peel off this sticker real quick. Got your other screw right there. Now, what we're working on right now, the name of the motherboard inside of this uh, Xbox controller is called a Matrix 2. The intensifier will work with every single uh, motherboard out there. Um, we are demonstrating it on a Matrix 2, but I will show you once I'm in here the difference in between the different boards and what you would be doing differently in another case. But the general gist is exactly the same. I'll show you the difference in a second. Okay, you're going to just remove everything off. So all you have left is just the motherboard. I have your intensifier. You're going to solder the intensifier on all these different points right here. It's going to go to here, you're just going to lay it on, and just solder it in. It's going to be real easy. Now, this is the difference in between a matrix controller and a CG controller, is the sink area. Since this controller has this little black box here, right there, you are going to install it by soldering from this little point here on the intensifier to the top of the little black box, the, the top pin right there. Now, if you do not have a black box right there, and this is just a little green pasture going on, you're going to be soldering up here to the sink on top. Do not uh, solder both. You only solder one. If it's a matrix, you solder over here. If it's a if it's a CG, you solder on top. If it is a CG, you are going to solder to that middle pin. Not all of them, not the right or left, just the center. The easiest way to do that is to have a little bit of solder on your soldering pen, touch the center, draw it away slowly, and your solder will slowly harden as you pull it away, and it will leave you like a little pinnacle coming off of it and then you're going to slide your intensifier underneath the little pinnacle and then you're going to just uh, wipe your uh, soldering pen onto the tip. Now that's how you do a CG. I'm just going to actually do a full demonstration on a matrix here. You're going to line these up right. Go ahead and solder it on here. It's one pin there's the second pin. Notice I don't have solder going all the way across to everything. They're individuals. They need to be soldered individually. Can't just goop on solder or goop on anything else. I'm going to do the same thing like I was just demonst well, talking about before. I'm going to have a little bit of solder here on my tip, so I'm going to touch this point right here, slowly draw it away, and it creates a little, I don't know, I just pinnacle is the word I'm going to use right now, this little piece uh, coming off, and you're going to connect the two. There we go. Set it on. So you're just going to connect those two points right there. Now, you're going to want to test your controller before you put all it back together just to make sure that you did it right because otherwise you're going to have to take it apart again. That would just be uh, more time wasted. So, let's put the battery pack in here real quick. Take the rubber piece off of here. Touch the center. Now, to make sure it's working, to go through the different modes, you're going to hold down this one, I mean the R1, and tap the sink. It just blinked at me. Another way to test it too is just simply to just tap the sink and it'll strobe at you. It's working perfectly fine. So now we're just going to put it all back together again. So put our thumbs back on, thumbsticks back on. 
bottom piece. Putting the bottom piece on is big because the bottom piece will hold the motherboard. That way it won't fall, won't fall out. Because you're going to want to put it in like so. Drop the rumblers into their little sockets. Drop everything else into place here. Snap it on. Make sure your bumpers are working. Good. So everything's lined up perfectly fine. Now we're just going to throw in the screws. Now if I was going at full speed this entire time, I can do this all in three minutes. It's a very easy installation.